happy day, I'm glad I'm a woman. Do you ever just sit there and fight the feminine urge? The feminine urge, okay? I've got a lot of urges, okay? I wanna talk about my feelings. So that's what we're doing. I just wanna do whatever it is that this is. These girls, like, it feels like they, they had a night and they're hanging out and they're all just kind of recovering in their own way. I wanna do this. I wanna have a wild night out. I wanna let my bangs fly. I walked in the wind the other day and they were standing up like this. I just wanna do that, but I want it to be because of the night and not because of the weather. Like she is just, I, I feel sorry for her. I feel sorry for the girl in the tub. Like that feeling where your body just feels like such, such a mess, mess that only a hard surface will do it for you. You don't wanna lay down in your bed, nah, uh 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 because then the entire room is just gonna go spinning out of control. You need the tub, you need a hard surface, a hard, reliable surface. This is another one of those girls nights, but the feminine urge I have to not trust these shorts when these girls are doing this. Like I could never, I would have to be wearing like some sort of spandex that is as long as the shorts, or I would have to do what these girls probably did a million times and watch the draft 400 billion trillion thousand times. What are you doing here? It's cute though. He kind of makes the video like the gas station aesthetic. The girls gone wild. The girls not even caring what happens to their shorts. It's girls night. And you know what? Nobody's gonna know unless you post it on TikTok and it gets 2.1 million likes. And now I'm reacting to it on my YouTube channel. Oops. This is one of the greatest TikToks of all time. And I don't know if a lot of Gen Z's are, are gonna be able to like relate to this. We'll see. Me and my friend as teens. The clips, the blue eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've done this. And now that I'm seeing the clips, the blue eyeshadow, the braces, even though I didn't have braces till later because I was too scared to even get them, the scrunchie and the calling of the boy. Why do we all do this? Mm -hmm. You call him again. Oh my God. One time a boy's mom called me back and I didn't have caller ID. I, she called me back. I was like, hello. And then she was like, hi there. Can you please stop calling here? And I was like, oh, I'm I, I, oh, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Oh dear. Oh, it's gonna happen to them. What if it's one of the phones that can trace your number back? It's possible. My like, dad said rich people's phones can do that. Back in the day when only rich people had caller ID, everybody else to figure out who called you, it had to be the last person who called you and you had to hit star six nine. Nice. I would just assume that nobody would ever do that. And when they did call back, I would freak out. Mom said she's gonna be home late. Oh, 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 oh. One time there was a boy, he was a very, very creepy boy, okay? He was a creepy boy, he was new in school, and he was always, always, always staring at me. And one time my phone rang and I picked it up because again, my family didn't have caller ID, so I just didn't have the slightest clue who it could be, answered it, and then he was like, hey, um, is this Cassie? And I was like, yeah, it's Cassie. How did you get my number? And he was like, I called every number in the phone book with like a last name that was similar to yours. And like my last name is very, very common. So there's like 50 and I just, I just don't like, how do you, what do you, what do you, it was very creepy, but I was very flattered at the time. This is the feminine millennial urge right here. Everything about this, like nobody has the compulsion in this video to wear less blue eyeshadow, to do less clips. Like you always thought the more chokers, the better. The more tank tops, the better. The more posters, the more individual you were. Abby, is your hair tangled? Probably. Probably? This is a hair yes. tangle test. Oh. <laughs> How? Okay, this is rigged. I just brushed my hair right before I recorded this video. I've been recording this video for only a few minutes. Oh wait. Okay, but the, the point is she's outside. The second I walk outside, my hair gets so tangled. It gets out of control. Thank you. You get to keep the comb. Camille, oh, you get is to your keep hair the tangled? Comb? That's nice. 100% uh, yeah. tangled. No, let's see. How? These girls cheated! There's no way you can walk to school and your hair not get a single tangle. I will say though, the trees aren't moving at all, so maybe it wasn't a windy day. It's wind that makes the tangles worse. Girl, you're, okay, that laugh. <laughs> Girl, you are so tangled. Well, I can't explain how strong my feminine urge to not even want to take part in this challenge would be. Like if a guy walked up to me with a camera and a comb and he was even moderately cute and he's like, I'm testing the girl. I'd be like, no, I'm out of here. Like, how dare you? Like you would have to be like a really close friend of mine for me to like not do that. And I don't know why I get embarrassed so easily, but it's just, just me things, just girly things. 
Okay, I don't know what's going on, but why can you see through my body? Oh, like you, can you can see the door see through the her door. arm. This is my arm. Someone needs to explain to this girl that this is the feminine urge to ghost. Like, she's ghosting already. You're ghosting, girl! What? This is who you are, this is what you do. I respect it. I respect a girl who knows how to ghost. You have to know how to ghost in this life. Speaking of ghosting, I watched this TikTok the other night. I've already seen it and I had the feminine urge, okay? I know I've said that a lot, but I had the feminine urge to show you guys this. I want as many people to see this advice as possible. When we meet a person, we can sense right away that there's something wrong about them. Facts. Mm. And I tell people who get into toxic relationships, you know, can you go back to that moment when you first met them? And can you remember a moment where you got initially a little bit uncomfortable in their presence? Mm -hmm. Or and inflated then... discomfort with butterflies, passion. Yeah, yeah but, no. but you didn't trust the feelings. This girl doesn't understand what he's trying to say. Just listen to him. So a lot of people have the right instincts because we are animals and we can kind of feel that a person is fake, mm -hmm. that a person is hiding something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This guy is saying that like sometimes we'll meet someone like the first meet, right? Like first impressions, like you just got to know them. Sometimes you'll get a feeling where you feel a little bit uncomfortable around them and you don't really know why, but then they do a lot of things that prove you wrong and then you end up accepting them after that. This is his advice and in extension, my advice goes to that person because when I listened to this and I thought back, every single person in my life who has caused me an immense amount of pain. I did have that feeling when I first met them, but I was like, I'm just being judgmental. Like I, I need to like, you know, let them in and then you let them in and then they screw you. So I thought this was very cute. This is Enzo. Enzo is a dog. The feminine urge to hug this dog. <laughs> Enzo is my dog, okay? A Samoyed dog. I don't know if I said that right. This dog is outside in the snow. This dog is outside in the snow because he wants to be. This dog has 18 muscles in his ears and uses all of them to ignore me when I tell him to come inside the house out of the snow. This dog is not mistreated. This dog is mistreating me. This dog wants me to sleep outside in the snow with him. First impression, right? If I saw a dog like this outside all the time, I would wanna like call the police on my neighbor and be like, they are mistreating this dog. I feel like it's that urge to like care for somebody like you're outside, you can't be happy outside. You wanna be in the comfort of my home. But really a dog like this really, really likes it outside. And I saw one of the comments that was like, the kind of people that are against this are the same people who have like a Siberian Husky in Arizona. I agree with that. My dog loves it loves it outside. Like never ever gets cold, thick double coat, nowhere near this thick. Like this guy probably needs to be outside. Whereas my guy can be inside, but like the door has to be open. Have you ever just had this weird urge that you never want to let a boy in your room because like you have a bunch of stuff and you don't want him to judge it or like touch it or come near it. This is like the elite level of that. I will never let a boy in my room. Here's it's a cute room. Why. First walk in, looks normal, looks cute. Right? Very cute. And then boom! Ah! Addiction. No, 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 no. I used to have even worse than this, because at least this is like cute collector's items and stuff like that. I had a paper doll city that whenever I had a guy over or even girlfriends over, I would hide the entire thing because I was embarrassed, even though it was like so cute and I worked so hard on it. I wish I wasn't embarrassed, you know? Just let him come in and if he looks at you funny, be like, I'm a collector. Collecting is cool now. This isn't the 90s, 2000s anymore where you were literally weird for doing anything cool. Like you were weird for gaming, you're weird for watching anime. That time has passed. Let him enjoy your um, collection. So this is a guy kind of making fun of girls. And I know these videos kind of annoy people sometimes, but I feel like he really epitomized a lot of feminine urges and like got them down. I'm gonna be doing a Shein haul today. That's Perfect. I'm gonna try it on. Let's do it. First of all, like the throaty voice, like I have the Shein haul, Shein, Sheen, Shein, Shein, I don't know. Really cute top. That Very cute. For, it's still really cute and for six bucks. Wow. Um, the gestures, the mannerisms. Okay, I get it. Usually we get mad at this kind of thing, but he is too good at this. The so little hand so on the chest. This one, which is, and it's literally so cute. I love the way it ties right here in the middle. If there was like a better quality actual clothing version of this, I would probably like be agreeing right now. Like I, I do like that. Like that's very cute. I might have to pick that up. Um, he has a nicer butt than I do, but I'm ignoring that. I. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I'm sorry, but like he nailed that. Who gave him permission to nail that that hard? This is giving me urges to get my nails done. My clients in their careers part four. So this is a cam girl. Love the nails. This is a script. Love those nails. Those are. I think those are my favorite. 
No thank you. I don't know what a plug is. Don't tell me in the comments. A lawyer, those are sassy nails for a lawyer. Oh, financial advisor, this is exactly what I would picture for a financial advisor, like a cute square French tip with like adventurous colors, but not so adventurous that it's like, you know, pink or like blue. This is like nice and like chill and low key, but flashy at the same time. It's perfect. Ugh, I just got my nails done like yesterday and I want to get them done now. Here we have a girl who's on camera. She doesn't realize she's on the Jumbotron. She's dipping her tender in her coke. No. I rarely see when guys get really embarrassed like that they do like this. I feel like it's a feminine urge. Like, hide me, hide me, get me out of here. Can I crawl in a hole and die? That escalated quickly. The poor thing! Ah, this is a perfect reaction though, what she did. Like, just like the laughing in the hole, oh, no. This is gonna be on TikTok. The urge to not give a care in the world bro, like this queen. Myself, bro. I really got her pregnant, bro. Like, this That's her boyfriend. Got who pregnant? As long as it's not me. Bravo. Bravo. I would say the exact same thing. Like, I can't even be mad right now. I'm just glad it's not me. The maternal urge to buy this fish. This is a real fish. That's his real face. I want him so bad. I would have to take him home. I, even if I had never had a fish before, I'd be like, I need this. I need Mr. Grumpy Gills. I really do. The feminine urge to wear a different outfit to everything. Waking up. Breakfast, morning walk. This is so much effort. Reading, lunch, thrifting, dinner, homework, sleeping. I, okay, I thought this was like gonna end a while ago, like less than usual, she says. She probably has like an outfit for like being sick, for sneezing, for needing to get something off the top shelf in the kitchen. Just a cute little outfit for everything. And she probably like goes to the gym and she's like, okay, this is my cardio outfit. This is my lifting outfit. This is my yoga outfit. Actually, that would make sense. You know what? I'm not gonna hate on this. Ah, the feminine urge to test boys because they always test us. They always go, oh, you like video games? Name every game. Since boys think they know everything, what are these? What are these? Hmm? What are they? I showed this to Terry yesterday and he was like, laser hair removal? And I was like, what? And then he said like tassels. I can't with him. And I'm not gonna snitch what it is. Do you know what this is? I mean, obviously I think all the girls do, but like, hmm? Guys in there? What is that? The feminine urge to go for an upgrade, hmm? I just Sometimes it speaks too hard to you. Please tell me why it looks like they drew on my face with Sharpies. Stop it. I hope my next breath is my last. I just don't get why sometimes they like put it so concentrated at the front here. Like, I, I feel like this would look okay if it was like a little bit diffused here. It would still look like Sharpie. Why would you take it all the way? Unless your eyebrows naturally grow like that, like mine do. It's just not the play, especially for such a delicate blonde. Now this is a guy in this one, but I felt this. Nobody, me when I'm home alone. He's bumping the music, of course. The feminine urge to sing as loudly as you can belt when you're home alone. You gotta get the food out, the snacks. Take your time with it, mm-hmm. The most random noises scare you. And I thought it was so funny how it happens to him too because I thought it was like a me thing. Like I thought it was a feminine urge to like, like just kind of be scared of like an intruder or something like that. But he, this guy, he's going through the exact same thing. I can relate to that. Well guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I will see y'all on the next one. Bye. Oh, make sure you check out the creators who are featured in this video. Huh?